Mia, tell us how hopeful are you on the new trial? August 12th. There's a whole series of events that unfolded in very rapid order uh, that I believe produced this action by the judge. And I think you should note, we did not ask for this stay. The judge did this on his own. We last asked him on Thursday. So, in other words, it was the judge's thinking on timing that controlled today. What is it that moved the judge to grant a stay when we hadn't asked for it? Uh, it's, it's good news in cases where there are unanswered questions and there is reasonable doubt the state should not go on the limb and kill someone with unanswered questions and where there is reasonable doubt. Um, I'm going to... It was a matter that we hope the Pennsylvania Supreme Court will review. Do, do you really think that... Okay. Um, we just got a small, but very small victory today. It gives us time to strive to go for, forward, um, to get more things done, but we have a long way to go. We don't have Lumia in our arms yet. This is probably one of the most clear cases we've ever come across. We had the killer sitting feet from the victim with, with the murder weapon beside him, missing five bullets that were then in Officer Faulkner. And Officer Faulkner, before he died, was able to get off a shot uh, and hit the, the, uh, the killer in this case. There's never been a more clear example uh, of why the death penalty is warranted and that it needs to be carried out. Unfortunately, the time lag in... Yeah, I'm picked up on that one, yeah. I can't tell you, man.